so uh, we were we spoke till uh, we explained the concept of open items cleared items and all items now coming to the concept of normal items and parked items okay so a uh, parked item is not re relevant uh, much relevant uh, here okay because uh, it, it is majorly relevant if you are seeing the customer ledger and uh, vendor ledger so when we will be talking about customer ledger and vendor ledger i will explain you the uh, concept of parked items similarly noted items is also not very used it is just for highlighting okay so it has means in indian context context i have hardly seen anywhere being we use noted items it is just for a highlight highlighted like i read somewhere like uh, that supposedly you have you want a payment from a customer to uh, notify them uh, that thing uh, this is used uh, so something like that i saw something there like that in the uh, google also so it is not very used like i have done in uh, noted items noted items in sap i googled it it is not these are these are postings that are not displayed in your accounts but are only to remind you of outstanding payments due or to be made you can process them within the payment program or dunning program so basically it is for highlighting okay highlighting purpose it is not very much used okay if it is uh, highlighting purpose so after this after like we have spoken about all the parameters on gl okay and then after doing this we click on this execute button this is the sign of this execute button or we can use the f8 key and then we will uh, get connected to the ledger page which looks somewhat like this the ledger will appear by clicking uh, acha okay so the, uh, this is an extract of the ledger so uh, you guys can see right means uh, so the ledger will somewhere uh, somewhat like appear like this this will be the account code there will be a profit center there will be a document number there will be a document date posting date okay and currency the so uh, in sap uh, to identify whether it is a debit balance or credit balance so debit balance are generally positive numbers and credit balance if it is a credit it will come with a minus sign okay so minus sign will be there so that is the of sap thing so the, the ledger will display like this and then similar to that process if i if i do have i don't know i have or not uh, i i don't know so acha maybe i do not have so similarly uh, same there will be a list option at the uh, there will be a tax bar which will be appearing at, above this and there will be a list option maybe i will have somewhere i will show you there and we can export this thing okay we can export give me a second okay so uh, after this uh, uh, this will appear so this is done right now so I, I hope you got an idea that how do we extract a gl right you got an idea that and how does the gl look like i hope everyone is clear right now yes sir okay so acha i so this is the sim, uh, simple form of gl okay uh, like gl fbl 3n is the simple function you for extracting gl and these are the small small things okay which gives you an added advantage in your interviews okay they will ask you very simple they will ask you acha in your cv it is written that you have knowledge about sap uh, so do you have some knowledge about sap so you will be uh, answering like yes sir I, i actually have not worked if see in your article ship if you get an opportunity to work then you say that i have a view mode knowledge of sap like i have worked in in view mode because you will not uh, auditor does not works in an entry mode right you will not be allowed to pass on entries and things like that but uh, you say like you have a view mode knowledge supposedly if you do not get any exposure and everything then you say that uh, one of my friend uh, I, i did not get any exposure in my firm but i learned it from my friend who was working with one uh, firm so he showed me that thing like that so then he will ask you that acha what do you know about as uh, what what modules have you worked so you will say that i have an idea of the sap fico module and like the transaction code of uh, downloading trial is f.01 similarly the transaction code of downloading trial uh, ledger is fbl3n so this small things just gives you a push okay because you know something like you there are see you there are 300 people in the group or maybe four i think so uh, almost 400 to 500 people are there right now in the group and uh, you there are just a few of you who have who are attending the sessions and making the extra effort in coming and learning these things i they are asking me for the recorded sessions i might upload those but they will they when will when they will see the length of the video no no one will be no one will be interested to join 
uh, no one will be interested to watch they all want things in just like they everyone is interested in real nowadays they want everything in one minute so you guys are putting that extra effort and you guys will be rewarded maybe not if, uh, means immediately but somewhere down the line you will be recorded there are so many people who do, who get into uh, big uh, companies and then do, do not have knowledge of sap and things like that okay so you have some knowledge and this is the little bit knowledge because see entry mode you will never be working in an entry mode you you are not there to pass entries you are there to review and monitor so you need to know that how to download a how to download a trial how to download a ledger how to see customer balances you will be hardly posting any entry there because you will be chartered accountants and you will be as i told you you will be working in a view in majorly in view uh, in review mode okay so these are the simple things uh, keeping that uh, the next topic which you are talking about is i will just want to share that there are uh, fbl 3n is one t code of downloading uh, uh, gl but there is one more tree code which we in organizations or auditors also use majorly that is fa fa glb 03 fa glb 03 so there are two code t codes of downloading uh, trial one is fbl 3n and one is faglb03 okay so what is the added advantage of fag faglb03 i i want to show you that so uh, the added advantage is basically uh, if you after after placing faglb03 this is the window which will be appearing gl account balance display okay so there are only five fields here account number company code which you already have an idea now fiscal year you also know what is fiscal year right now ledger i as i told you it is always generally ol okay and so if if you see there are there are no items like all items or open items or parked items these functions are not there okay so it does not make a difference okay uh, so th these options are not there but uh, one option which will be required which will be majorly required by you is business area because you want to uh, uh, choose uh, only of the location which you are doing audit for that this this uh, red green blue this is the tab if you click here there will be a field there will a window will open and there they will ask you about business area if you put the business area business area the the, the only the ledger of that business area will be uh, displayed and after selecting this is the selection this year you filled uh, filled up the details after that if you click the execute button like this so the window which will be appearing is uh somewhere Achha. okay I, okay uh, huh. this, this is the window this is the benefit of this a summary of the debit and credit balance happening in the gl will appear like what is being showed here Okay, like this will be the first window which will be appearing. So if it is a balance sheet item, there will be a balance carry forward. Uh, obviously, like this is a balance sheet item. So this is the amount of balance carry forward. Then it will show you a debit. What was the debit for in that GL and what is the credit in that GL? And then it will show you a balance. So it is very helpful for PL items majorly, basically, because if you if you get a summary of this, like suppose it is a rent GL. So in that case, what happens in that window? If you put the GL code of rent and then you execute the entire ledger of GL uh, of rent will be appearing. But if you use this T code FAGLB03, what will happen? You get a you get the GL in a summarized format. Okay, in a summarized format. So every month, what is the debit and credit happening in that GL? You can get. So supposedly there is only one rent agreement and uh, of one lakh rupees. So for twelve months, one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You can see that the every month the balance is one lakh, one lakh, one lakh, one lakh, and there will be obviously no balance carry forward, and the cumulative balance will be increasing, and uh, the uh, twelve months balance will be twelve lakh. So what uh, what uh, helps you like when you're doing an expense analysis or things like that, you can see that every month the expenses have been charged properly. If there is any gap, you can identify that. So it, it this is a this, that's why this is majorly used by all the reviewers and uh, in the organization because this gives you an added summary table where you can see every month what is the running account balance and what is the every month balance also the running account balance the cumulative balance is also shown and the every month balance in that gl being posted is also shown so you get a review you get you get to review better okay and similarly after that if you click if you double click on like supposedly this is the figure 1470 if you double click here the same same screen the same screen of this one this is the screen of gl so uh, uh, screen of gl so this 
entire screen whether if there is open items appearing like balance sheet items uh, before uh, like 2012 13 if it is a balance sheet item so if all the items will be appear but in case if it is a pl item only that period means like you have chosen a period there uh, sorry in that case you you only choose five fiscal year so supposedly uh, fiscal year you have chosen so you are doing an audit in the month of september and you have given a uh, fiscal of 2022 fy22 so till 22 whatever is the uh, expenses or income or whatever has been booked everything will be appearing for that particular period i hope this is clear okay what is the function of faglb03 and what is the function of fbl3n this is clear right yes sir okay 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 thank you so after this, there is one more. Now you have got an idea that how to extract a trial and how to uh, see a ledger. Okay. But the uh, our Excuse auditor roles. Ha, ha. Go ahead. Uh, uh, sir, I was uh, asking that. Uh, can you please repeat that how to extract a GL part? Because I missed that portion as I was rejoining. So. Achha. Uh means you you heard uh, till uh, fbl3 and right means uh, uh keshav yes 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 this part so, after, that, uh, after that after that there is only uh normal items we select and we execute and we uh this screen is appeared basically basically you heard you 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 heard till open items cleared items all items okay i explained you till yes, here sir, yes, and sir. then you always always yes. choose normal items i have not explained parked items because in general ledger balance parked items is of not uh major means it is not used i have not seen used item it is used in customer and vendor i will explain you when i come to customer and vendor okay that portion so uh this is here so we were in FA, faglb03 and we knew how to uh, download a trial and we, uh, we can also we also know how to download a ledger and how to extract the ledger but the auditor role uh, does not uh, end here okay because this is a 21,000 rupees balance. Supposedly this is coming. And now you have some doubts that, uh, what is it about whom, uh, who was the party involved? What is the transaction involved? Okay. So which you're, uh, you're unable to answer by, by, by just seeing that in a, supposedly this is a sales ledger. So supposedly 21,000 is a amount being posted, but you are not getting any idea that what is the transaction being posted, which is the party involved, which, what account has been debited, what account has been created. You're not getting answers to this question. Okay. For that, you need to enter more into the details of the transaction. Okay. Enter more into the details of the transaction. And for that, what we do, we double click in this document number. As you can see, this is a document number. If we double click generally, uh, either sometimes what happens, at, this transaction will open like if you can see in the screen uh let me just minimize a little bit huh you can see in the screen this is the document number as you can see and uh, document number and the entire transaction what is debited uh, what is uh, like domestic this uh, this is the sundry debtors account and advance from customers has been created you can see the general entry so my objective was to show you that how to see a general entry okay so when you double click on the document number uh, this screen appears and now you can see the understand the general entry and make your judgments that were whatever was your uh, thought process okay similarly if you sometimes what happens like you click on the document number then this this window will appear like this one window will appear so it it, it directly does not connect you to the general entry uh, entry so in that case what do you need to do so when this in, in flow will, the window will appear display document line item like thing this like this then you have to click on this uh, valley sign. This this valley sign is there. There is a valley sign. I have just placed my cursor there. There will be a valley sign coming, and you just need to click there, and then you can uh, view the uh, view the journal entry. Okay. So I hope uh, you got an idea that how to extract a trial uh, means how to extract a ledger and also how to see the journal entry of the ledger. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. So, uh, so I mentioned about three T codes right now. One was F.01, second was FBL3N, third is FAGLB03. Okay, FBL3N and FAG, FAGLB03 both are used for uh, extracting uh, ledger only. And now the fourth one, just an added information. I do not have any screenshot of that, but it is an FB, FB03. What, what does FB03 does is that, like if you place FB03 here, so it will just, in, uh, 
open a simple uh, dialog uh, window like this, a small window. And if you have the document number, supposedly in case of in in place of account number, assume that it is written document number, company code, fiscal year. Supposedly these three parameters are given. So it appears like that. You appear write the document number. Like here is the document number, something like two triple zero uh, two uh, five zeros and one nine zero. You just write the document number and write the company code and write the year. Year is very important. Company code is uh, very familiar, but year is very important. Then it opens you directly the journal entry of that transaction. So journal entry. So if you have some already, you have some document number supposedly, or you have a sample copy of uh, ledger extracted in trial uh, in Excel supposedly, and you noticed a document number for you, you which you want to see the journal entry of the transaction. So you just uh, put the transaction FB03, give the account number, and press F8, and then uh, click execute. And you are done. Means you will get the uh, uh, you will get the screenshot of the entry. So I hope this part is also clear. So you have got to know four T codes right now. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So uh, yes. Uh, uh, okay. So after after ledger, uh, it, it is uh, one more important thing is that how to view vendor ledger balances and customer ledger balances. Okay, means. Like vendor, vendor ledger is something like uh, uh, there will be there will be multiple vendors, right? Like in sundry creator is a, see sundry creator is a general ledger. Okay, like in sundry creator there will be a party A, party B, party C, party D, and you have to if you have to check the balance of what is the amount outstanding of party A or what is the amount outstanding of party B. So in that case there is a separate. Uh, uh, it will not happen. It, it, it does not appear in FBL 3N. Okay. For that, you need to put the, uh, you need to use the T code, which comes to, which is FBL 1N basically. So FBL 1N is for uh, vendor. FBL 5N is for customer. The screen is almost, uh, the screen is totally same. Okay. FBL 1N is for vendor. FBL 5N is for customer. And uh, it will help you, uh, uh, extract the what is the individual balances lying in party so as you can see fbl 1n and then you uh, vendor line item will be the window which will be appearing okay vendor line item uh, after that you would give the company code we have already learned what is company code and things like uh, and about it and open items cleared items all items these are all under your control you have an idea about open items cleared items all items now uh, Coming to, I, I told you that I will be, achha, sorry, I did not explain you the concept of parked items. Parked items was relevant there also. Actually, the concept of parked item is that as uh, in SAP, there, as you know, there is a, a system of parking and posting. Like supposedly you are pa uh, passing an entry. I, I, I am extremely sorry there. I told that park item was not applicable, but park item is applicable. Uh, so as if, uh, in so park item is what basically, uh, if you one one person has just parked the entry, like he has done debited expense account debit to supposedly bank account, he has just parked it. It has not made any accounting transaction. It is not it is not getting affected in your trial balance or in your accounts. One person will post the entry once. So there is a segregation of duty. One person will just park the entry. He will plot the entries that this is the expense account which will be debited. This is the uh, this is the liability account which needs to be credited, and the other one will be posting the entry. So in, if you choose the option parked items for that GL, it will show that what are the entries which are pending posting. Okay. Obviously those items which are pending posting will not appear in your trial. Right. So you, you got an idea of parked items, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, continuing with the parked items, I explained normal items is the normal transactions happening in the GL. Now coming to the concept of like here cleared items is very much relevant if you want to see that how many how much amounts has been paid okay like in uh, uh, suppose it is a customer ledger supposedly uh, right now i'm talking about all the vendor ledger the screen is the same exactly same fbl uh, 5n so there also there is an option of cleared items okay so supposedly you have seen that on 31st march vendor a has five items which are pending to be realized so in that case supposedly now you have to check that whether the items have been realized or uh, whether the uh, we have received amount from that uh, from the person or not so in that case what you'll do uh, you'll select on cleared items and you'll use the uh, function 
uh, you will use the period supposedly subsequent to 31st March because as on 31st March, that amount is outstanding. So subsequent to 31st March, you will use the period like supposedly 1st April to 30th April 2022. And if any payment has been made, it will show you that see uh, out of the four line items, three items uh, we can see, you can see, you can trace that three items had been cleared. So here also cleared items. Uh, I hope you got, are getting a better understanding of what is the function of cleared items. Now coming to the major thing, what is a special GL transaction? This concepts, everything has been explained with proper examples and things like this in the debtors and creators video. Okay. So I, I, if you have not watched, go, please watch it. Okay. But right now coming to special GL transaction, this is like special GL is if a vendor has a credit vendor generally has a credit balance or customers generally has a debit balance but there are uh, instances where a customer pays you advances supposedly pays you advances so that is what a credit balance right there are instances because he has to take some uh he has to take some material but he has paid you some advance okay from before in that case the if you if you if you show the item clubbed in sundry data, it will be a wrong representation. As you know, that advance from customers, we have to show separately Debt, uh, debtors, uh, the credit balance of debtors should not be clubbed with the debit balance and showed together. If it is an advance, you need to show it separately. So in that case, but, but the vendor, vendor, uh, but the customer is the same. There is only one customer, Mr. A supposedly, um, um, or Mr. R, uh, A, I am, I, as I was saying that it is a vendor, so don't get confused. So Mr. R, so Mr. R is only one party. Now it has a debit balance also, it has a credit balance also. So supposedly it has a credit balance where he has paid some advances for some goods which is yet to be built or yet to be invoiced or yet to be dispatched. In that case, the uh, at the time of entry, they choose special GL that do not park it. The customer will be Mr. R only, but do not post it in sundry debtors, post it in the general ledger advanced from customer. That is why. So if you choose special GL, you can see the, uh, means the reverse balances of what generally appears in, uh, for the vendor or, uh, customer, like in customer, the balance is generally debit. So you, if you choose special to so whatever advance has been given to the customer that will be displayed similarly in vendor the balance is generally credit. So if you choose special GL, if you have given any advance to the vendor, which is coming in the GL advance to suppliers, that will be displayed. I hope these parts are clear, right? Yes, sir. Okay. 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 We will end with one more, uh, I think so. And there are a lot of videos. Okay. In the uh, in the YouTube with proper understanding and explanation of all the things. I hope I am not getting into FBL five n okay because I hope you'll note down that vendor is FBL one n and uh, customer is FBL five n. The screen is exactly similar. Wait, Achha, I will I will I will show you also. Debtors, uh, the screen is exactly similar. So uh, you just note it down. So. Uh, Yes, FBL 5N, as I told you, FBL 5N, there you you were seeing that there was an option of vendor line item display. Here it is coming customer line items display. The screen is exactly similar. The fields are almost similar. There is nothing different. Open items, clear items, all items, normal items. And uh, as you can see, uh, special yield transactions are there, there and parked items. Uh, these are there. Okay. So this, is, uh, and then you execute and the ledgers will come and then you can get into the details of the transactions or the, the document number. If you get into, you'll see the general entry and things, everything. So uh, lastly, I will just take you to one more thing, like the, all this, uh, which we spoke about. Now let's uh, discuss one thing about material management. Okay. So in ma um, material management, so how to see a PO detail. Okay. So in uh, supposedly there is a PO. If you want to see what, what is the, when was the date when the GRN was made? When was the date when the invoices was made? What were the, what was the quantity that the GRN was made? Okay. And what was the quantity that the invoices were made? The T code is MA23N. So this is also a very com common T code. So I'm majorly focusing on the areas where four, you see right now, I think so six T codes you have learned almost six T codes and you have got a proper understanding of open items, all items and, uh, 
cleared items and things like that, noted items, special GL transactions, parked items. This you have a got a clarity. So this is this a little bit. I told you a little bit effort is enough. Okay. Now uh, the next generally see in organizations purchase is an area which everyone focuses upon because there is a high chance that they might uh, increase the. Uh, purchases they might increase the expenses and show so purchases always they are very concerned about and purchase in an area every uh more sales also there is a high chance of uh undervaluing or overvaluing the sales also but pur purchase is also an area which they focus a lot upon purchase and sale both the, both so uh that's why i'm showing you the t code of uh, how to see a purchase order details so the t code is me 23 n so the screen is same we click on me 23 n as as soon as we click so this will be the uh, screen which will be appearing this screen okay so uh, we'll appear uh, sorry uh, this will be the screen which will be appearing okay and uh, so this will show you the uh, so he, uh, here an existing uh, any po number will be appearing okay what has been last viewed okay so you need to do one thing the, there is a, a sign of uh, pencil sign okay so you you can click here and you can change the PO number for which you want to see the details. So you click here, you uh, check the PO, uh, you put the PO number details, okay, PO number details, and you press enter. Then the PO which you want to see the details that appears, okay. So after uh, uh, which you want to see details that appears, and here are the items 10, 20, 30, 40. And here, like uh, these are the four items which the uh, purchase order contains, which the uh, uh, which the client has ordered from a customer here is the supplier name this is the supplier name and this is the dog date when the po was created okay so and this is a domestic po there will be import in case of import po there will be import po in case of service po it will be a service po service po for service expenses okay so uh these are the details of the po which are appearing now supposedly you want to see that uh when was the items which when is the date when the item has been received okay so in that case, uh, uh, here is the option of purchase order history. Okay, there are so many types: material, quantity, weight. So these are all the instructions. Uh, means all the data, uh, all the PO terms and conditions are fitted here. Like here, you can see a condition tab. Here you can see a delivery schedule tab. So here, if you click, you can see that what was the delivery schedule. Similarly, account assignment like. If when the material will come, which will be the account which will be debited, which will be the inventory GL which will be debited. Okay, that is also there. Okay, and the this tab purchase order history. Remember this purchase order history tab will only be uh means uh, only will appear. Uh, you can say if the G if any GRN has been made against the good or a or a chalan means uh, means it is about to getting delivered okay before uh, sometimes before delivering there is a concept of chalan generation when the vendor can uh, not used in uh, used in very big companies only like when the vendor there is a software which is integrated where they disclose that we are sending the materials okay either then when, uh, when they, they have disclosed in the system that uh, they are sending the material in that case a movement type 103 is generated okay or generally majorly when a grn has been created created against the po then only this purchase order history tab will become active okay otherwise you will not be able to see so as you can see i am seeing of the line item number 10 10 means uh, not this is not the 10th item this is the first item but it uh, number is given 10 okay means like similarly the second item number will be given 20 okay the quantity is actually here it is given the po quantity so as we as you can see uh, here here uh, here is the screenshot so here we can see as i told you 103 is a, just a movement for dis, uh, display purpose it does not have any accounting transaction when the vendor sends good so there is a software which is integrated to it not applicable in all organizations but there is a software so he discloses that we have sent the software but major entry of inventory comes when the grn is made and the movement type is 105 and this is the movement type and this is the material document number as i so told you material management software is a different module and which gets integrated with the accounting software so there will be a document number generated in material management module also there will be a document number because this transaction this grn which we are cre creating it has a uh, it has a record in the inventory ledger 
also it uh, uh, accounting entries are posted in the financials uh, so it has a different accounting document number also okay everything this entire concept okay of this has been discussed in a, there is a purchase playlist of uh, p, uh, p, uh, p2p okay purchase order there are two videos i have explained everything that right this year i am explaining you from the process of um, if you have the PO number with you, how do you check? How do you check it? But in that, I have explained you how do you extract all the PO number details. Okay. So do watch those videos. Okay. So uh, I, I, I'm keeping these sessions because there is a lot of content already available in this uh, YouTube. I'm just keeping the sessions to make you aware that there are all already sessions. You need to watch them. Okay. You need to put some effort and watch them. The videos are lengthy, but you will get a very depth knowledge about things. Okay. So uh, as I told you, so the, here the uh, screen of GRN will be appearing. And you, as you can see, the first item I had, uh, the quantity was six. I showed you before, uh, as you can see. And so the GRN is also of six quantity. And uh, this is the reference number. This is generally the invoice number of the party. Okay. They put the invoice number of the party, the 265 number invoice of the party. And similarly, when the invoice is made, as you all know that there are two transactions involved when a purchase uh, happens. One is the time of GRN and one is the time of, at the time of GRN, the entry is inventory account debit to GRIR account. The, the entry does not happen like inventory account debit to directly to party. There is a two step control that's why given that first the entry will be posted because system stores person is responsible for just making the GRN. Okay, and it's the someone from the finance person who is uh, responsible for checking that whether the amount and things or the bills detail, whether the invoice is okay or not, because stores personal is not that he's just he's ensuring that the quantity is correct. Okay, and the quantity and quality and things like that are correct. Okay, but the stores, uh, but the accounts person is concerned whether the invoice is proper nor, or not, whether all the informations with, uh, given in the invoice is as per the GST norms or not and uh, that all so uh, that's why there is another when uh, process of doing invoicing and in invoicing the entries uh, in meant grir account debit to party okay so this is the uh, this is the material document number of grn and this is the material document number of invoice and uh, if you see if you click on the material document number you you see that uh, these are the details like this is the person who has made this is the created by these are the items which he has received Okay, and the the thing to notice is that GRN uh, person does not have any authority uh, to even see that uh, means put the rate okay anywhere. What I have seen, there is no because GRN person is not concerned with the rate. The rate should be automatically coming from the PO. Okay, the PO should fetch the rate. So it is a uh, so there is no uh, no information about a rate given in the GRN. Uh, uh, because he is not concerned with that, he has to just ensure that the quantity which he is re receiving is correct. And this is the uh, screen of, uh, sorry, this is the screen of uh, GRN. Similarly, if you click on the, uh, here there is an option, okay, the tab is not there, but uh, I think so, uh, sorry, huh. here, here there will be a, up uh, one tab coming and there will be an option coming document, Achha, sorry, uh, not here. In this, if you click on FI documents, sorry, if you cl click on FI documents, I showed, told you that in inventory ledger, the transaction gets posted and also there is an accounting document which is created, which uh, this is the concept of ERP, which integrates two softwares. Okay. So if you click on FI document and if you click on accounting document, you can see the journal entry of this transaction. As I told you, uh, there will be a uh, C, uh, inventory stores and spares debit to GRIR account 636. This two entry purchase account and purchase offset account. I have explained in two videos of purchase. Please watch that. You will get an idea. But the major entry which is happening is inventory account debit to GRIR. Okay. And uh, similarly, if you if you click on this uh, invoice invoice number, the, if the, if you click on this invoice number, the entry which will be appearing is uh, this will be the screen. They will put the invoice date, posting date and the uh, what is the tax and you if you can see the reference this is the bill number as i told you this is the vendor details who was the vendor and uh, all the information what is the quantity that we are invoicing okay uh, quantity 6 here are date 
item is a rate a rate tab appears but th that is generally non editable because everything should come from the po that is the concept of three way match the po details should match with the grn details and invoice details there should be no one exceeding uh, the there should be no uh, item exceeding the po and the rate should also be not be changed okay if you have to make some changes in the rate you should again amend the po and do the do the, do that okay that's why three way match control is uh, there and similarly to that uh, similar to that here uh, here uh, as i told you there will be an option coming uh -huh, sorry there is an option follow on documents if you click on follow on documents there will be option coming accounting document and there is an accounting document which gets posted and as i told you it is grir account debit see the 636 rupees to party to party and obviously the itc entry happens here so if you see the purchase video you will get a proper idea so that was only majorly from the today's uh, point of view that you got an uh, understanding of seven eight modules and that is enough okay means do not uh, means that is a lot which you 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 got a better understanding people who get sap software also they also don't know how to use it okay because nobody has trained them so you got an understanding and you will be able to answer all the queries so the objective of entire making this video is that you guys now write in your CVs that you have some knowledge about SAP, having having knowledge of SAP or having having view mode knowledge of SAP. When they ask you question, you tell them now that no. I, if you get an opportunity to work upon, great. If you do not get an opportunity, there was a friend of mine who showed uh, showed me things like this. From them, him I learned something. And you just need to be confident that if someone asks you question, you will be able to answer. So you will be able to answer all the questions, and. Uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, understood, right? Yes, sir.